How's it going everyone? So today I want to talk about the three biggest mistakes when trying to gain weight. So the number one biggest mistake that I see hands down for every single person that's failing to gain weight is tracking your calories. You must track your calories. For cutting weight, you can get away with it if you just do a ton of cardio, but to actually build muscle, you need to be above around 250 to 500 calories to build muscle. So if you're not tracking your calories, some days you're gonna be super high, some days you're not gonna be uh, high enough. Uh, so it's very important that you track your calories so you know exactly the right calorie expenditure that you are doing every single day, and so you can go above that. So a great example, if someone needs 3,000 calories to bulk, if you're eating whatever, the first day you might get 3,300 calories, you might get lucky, you might go over, but the next day you might not be as hungry, so you might only eat 2,800 calories. Well, that whole day was a waste because you didn't build any muscle at all because you didn't eat enough food. So hands down, if you're trying to build muscle or lose weight, the main thing that you can do, the biggest mistake that people do not do is track their calories. The second biggest mistake is too much cardio, you guys. Anything in moderation is amazing. Anything that you do too much out of can have bad side effects. So when it comes to bulking, you don't wanna to do too much cardio. How much is enough cardio? In my opinion, 30 minutes per day is perfect if you are trying to bulk. If you're trying to cut 45 minutes is fine. Anything more than 30 minutes if you're trying to bulk is just gonna be overkill. Because cardio is, all cardio is, is you're burning calories, you guys. So when you're trying to bulk, you wanna eat more calories than you burn. So it's being counterproductive. But here's the thing, cardio works out your heart. So you need a minimum amount each day. And in my opinion, 30 minutes is the best amount to do. Because again, cardio is the most important muscle group. It's not your biceps, it's not your legs, it's your heart. Your heart is the most important muscle group. So keep that in mind. Third biggest mistake, you guys. The third biggest mistake that I see people do. Yes, they track their calories, but they don't weigh their food. So some people might just look at something and be like, oh yeah, that's, that's rice. That's about 200 grams of rice. And, and you think when people track their calories, you would think that it would be common sense that they weigh their food, but a lot of people don't. They will just look at it and they'll be like, okay, that's 200 grams of rice, so you put in my fitness pal 200 grams of rice. Yep, we got 400 calories or whatever it comes out to. No, that is a mistake. Even though you're tracking your calories, you are doing it incorrectly because you are not weighing your food. When you put in my fitness pal or whatever app that you're using to track your calories, you need to know the exact gram that you're doing or else tracking it does no good. So I see people all the time, they're tracking their calories, but they're not weighing their food. If you're not weighing your food, you have no idea what you're doing. Another thing too is that people calculate their calories or track their calories or weigh their food incorrectly. A lot of times they measure stuff dry when it's actually cooked. So it's a major, major important step to make sure that the calories that you are tracking you're weighing them properly and you're putting them properly in the app or whatever you're using to track them correctly. And a great example is this, this if you track 20 things in your um, fitness pal or whatever you're using to track every single day, and if you're even off by 10 calories, and that's nothing, that is nothing. If you're off by 10 calories on each food because you didn't weigh it or, or you didn't track it properly, that's 200 calories. Um, I had a couple of clients they, did, they put three foods in their MyFitnessPal app and they were off by 150 calories. That's 450 calories. That was on three items. Three items. So now you can see how people, they're like, oh, I'm eating 4,000 calories a day, but they're doing it incorrectly. So how many calories are they actually eating? They may only be eating 2,500 calories. So the main thing that I will say at the end of this video, track your calories, don't do too much cardio, make sure you're weighing your food. That is the biggest mistakes. So end of video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share. Thanks for watching.